we just give them, sorry girl, a little bit of scratch every morning. It's like a treat. Oh, sorry. Hey guys, so we're over here hanging out at the sawmill. We just are cleaning up the sawdust because it builds up so fast. So the clean sawdust that kind of sits and blows to the outside of the sawmill, it doesn't have a lot of bark and things like that in it. And so a local dairy farmer just came and got several loads to use as bedding in his um, pens and then we're just kind of pulling out the sawdust that's under the sawmill directly um, and that's just trash so we're just going to put it over to the side so I'll include a time lapse of us um, loading that up here. to protect the hoses from being torn up with any wood that may get caught in between them. Um, so that makes a huge difference. We have an order for cedar and it is a million degrees out here. So prayerfully we have the right size log already here and we don't have to cut down a tree. Fingers crossed. Bob, that will work. The only problem, sorry, <laughs> the paint and the tape measure are pushing me. Um, the only problem is we are going to have to take a few nails out of it. The log must have came from someone's yard, but that is okay. Right now, I'd rather pull a few nails in the shade instead of traipsing through the woods. So I'm okay with that. The second problem is the deck where we load the logs onto to get them onto the sawmill it's seven foot wide and this log is six foot so we're gonna have to do some maneuvering but Brad will get it figured out so at least we found one that's that's what I'm thankful for <laughs>
He got it back on after I let it roll off. Thankfully, it was wedged in there just right. And so he did have to pick it up and put it back on there. So thankfully, you're strong. <laughs> completed four six by six of cedar thank y'all for coming along with us and we hope to see you next time